My name is Bart Cooper, artist of Maxwell Dixon. My name is Colleen Nemeth. I was born in Seattle, Washington and raised in San Diego, California. My name is Kim Tankersley and I'm from Long Beach, California. Do you want me to be from Los Angeles? No, you can be from Long Beach. Hi, my name is Dr. Josh Neiman. I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Neurosurgery at USC. My name is Jessemi Lopez. I am from Southern Veracruz, Mexico. Do I have to say in Spanish too? No, you don't. Okay. I'm Michelle Rakoff, and I'm from Los Angeles, California. I am the Executive Director of Breast Cancer Care and Research Fund, a 26-year breast cancer survivor and activist. In 2014, there will be nearly 300,000 women that will be diagnosed with breast cancer, and also, surprisingly, 2,000 men. I was diagnosed with invasive ductal carcinoma, and it was stage 2B, which means it was the size of a quarter. I was diagnosed shortly after I turned 37, and what we now know is the, the damage that cancer can cause to our own lives and to the lives of our families. Um, can never be measured and it can never be anticipated before the diagnosis. Unfortunately, I am one example of someone that got breast cancer at an early age. Regardless of race, regardless of age, breast cancer affects everybody. If a woman or a man is diagnosed with breast cancer, there will be a likelihood of 40% chance of spread to the brain. And out of that number, 80% will have a dismal probability of surviving one year. There are many challenges today for um, our organization and also for researchers. But what we are trying to do is to have conversations with them, have interactions, so that they know what do patients care about. You're kind of in a little bit of disbelief. It's kind of shocking. You you want to let people know they're important to you, but you don't really want to talk about it because you just need time to process all of the thoughts and feelings, and it's, it's just a whole new venture in your life that you're going to have to deal with and you don't know what to do. Well, one thing is that breast cancer does not kill by itself. It is the spread or the metastasis to other vital organs that kills. We know that one in eight women will be diagnosed with breast cancer in their lifetime but it doesn't mean we have to run scared. Just um, putting one foot in front of the other every single day because it's what you need to do. You can't just stop. Find somebody that you can talk to, find somebody that's been there, reach out. BCCRF, which is again Breast Cancer Care and Research Fund, um, is a little bit different than most of the organizations out there. We are a grassroots organization. We have the focus of the patient, the woman, at the very front. At BCCRF, we try to take care of the women from diagnosis all the way through their journey and beyond. People probably do not think that there's a correlation between art and breast cancer. Um, the art is an expression of somebody. It's very creative and it makes a statement. Now looking for an inspirational piece, just researching, I came across a photo of one of my friends, Osner. Her photo stuck out to me and kind of gave me a reference to use and create some, a piece. Her mom was just diagnosed with breast cancer. And what we decided to do was come up with a fundraiser to raise money for breast cancer awareness. Very thrilled that um, an organization that is a for-profit organization, that is a commercial business, would be interested enough in wanting to do something in the community to help women with breast cancer. Art inspires people. As an art company, we are in a very unique position to leverage art and creativity to fundraise money to contribute to the ongoing fight against breast cancer through a one-of-a-kind art show and fundraiser.